I just made some scorching hot molten lava delicious coffee in this hydro flask and I'm about to burn my taste buds for the rest of the week. So, woo, <laughs> this ice water, just kidding. Hello, hi everyone. Today we have a fun one for you. And that is how do you make a content creator media sheet? Today I'm gonna to tell you exactly what a media sheet is, why it is an essential part of your kit that you should have, which will in turn help you book some potential clients and also show you how to make one that stands out like this. Now, when clients and publishers, let me scoot over so you can see the entire frame on this side. Now, when clients, publishers, anyone who wants to book you for services that you offer, whether it be tutorials, commercials, photos, anything, like that, one big selling point is a media sheet. You know, sure, conversations start on Twitter and Instagram, but a majority of the time, that's when clients are asking about your availability and your rates. Then the conversation would continue through email, and this is where the media sheet, package list, whatever you wanna call it, comes into play. Arguably, this is the turning point of when they book you or not. It's like, it's like walking by a restaurant, and their menu is right in front of you or in front of the door. And as you're walking by, you're glancing to see what's on the menu. If the food sounds good and they have photos of it and it looks good, you go inside. If it doesn't, you just keep on walking. So a media sheet should highlight the services that you provide in a captivating and professional way. So here's how I structure mine. Now, as I'm talking through this video, of course, I'm gonna give you an example of mine and how I structure it, but please feel more than welcome to do something similar. Ultimate goal here is for you to book some clients. So I like to start off with a magazine-like cover. And there are three things to keep a note of while you're making this. One, I would highly, highly recommend using Canva, which is 100% free. It's a website they can use for like template ideas and make cool stuff, not sponsored, but I've been using them from the beginning and they have been amazing uh, across my entire branding scheme. Number two, colors and fonts. You wanna try to keep your colors maybe to like two to three similar colors. I know my color palette here shows five, but I typically use around two to three and you wanna keep those consistent as you can. On top of that, you wanna keep your fonts consistent as well. So one main font and one accent font. And if you're interested in figuring out what fonts pair well with the font that you like, use Google Fonts to see which fonts pair well with the one that you're using. The recommendations there are top notch. And that leads me to number three, which is simplicity. People barely read through emails. So make sure your media sheet is easy to read, make sure it's simple and make sure it is inviting. No clunky blocks of text or an essay, you know, pictures over words if you can. So my first page is a landscape photo of one of my personal favorite photos that I think really summarizes my brand. It's modern, elevated, and boom, color palette gets introduced right away with the blue rectangle at the bottom, which remains consistent throughout the rest of the pamphlet. And I also, of course, list my name and my role in the board game industry, photographer and videographer. So in summary, if you're looking to build your media sheet, I would start off with a title page that has like a captivating photo or something that summarizes your brand, including some shapes, symbols, your colors, and potentially even your logo. And of course, your name and role like previewer, the types of contents that you make, blogs, playthroughs, previews, whatever you want, and so on. And then we move on to the second page. And again, as you can see, the colors remain consistent. I have this dark blue running through with the text, the photos that I chose, and lines, and also the color blocks. All of those have that blue color scheme. The second page I use to include quotes from people that I worked with and what they think of my services having worked with me. I definitely need to update this eventually, but even if you worked with like 10 people, choose a few to use because again, time is limited and less is more. Now moving on to the third page. This time I included highlights of the types of services that I provide. Tutorials and why my tutorials are unique. Cinematic showcases are my most requested type of video, so I'm gonna highlight that. Because again, back to the whole restaurant analogy, every restaurant has a signature dish. This would be mine. This is the one I love making the most. It's the one that I want to sell the most. So I would really recommend that you highlight your own favorite types of content to make. Product photos, Twitter, live streams, TikToks, whatever your favorite thing is to make, or perhaps something that you are most notable for, underscore that, highlight that. And from there, thirdly, I list commercials. So under each title, I put a quick, you know, one line summary about why publishers should book that specific type of content. Tutorials, I have zero dead space in them, straight to the point, fast, done. It gets more people to watch them and they don't have to worry about me extending a tutorial to maximize profit. 
I don't do that, so I make sure that it's known when they're interested in that type of service. Now, we're moving on to the description below that. I make sure it's about them. It's not about you. Not once in these descriptions do I mention I because your client is looking to see their board game done in your way. So you want to give them more information about that. Give them info about why they should book that service, you know, what you're including in that service and what players are going to gain by watching that video or seeing that photo or reading your blog. Now you'll also notice that they also have a play button. I linked this PDF so they will all link to a specific example of that type of video. And this is important, make sure that you're linking to your best and updated form of that content that you're trying to sell. My tutorials, for instance, now will link to my Stardew Valley tutorial. You know, those links constantly are updated and changing because again, you know, I'm learning and then as I'm getting better, I want to reference those types of works. And then you link the rest from there. So cinematic showcase will be one that I did on Bloodstone and so on. And then we get to the last page and this is the most important page. The rest is more of a buildup. It's telling people what you're offering. And then I finish off with surprise, surprise, my prices. If you want to know how much you should charge for your board game clients, I did a video on that. Did a podcast on that, which I'll link up here as well. So here I separated block by block the types of content that I offer. So videos first and then photos. And then I also offer add-ons because I think that helps sell more of your services. Should I be saying all this? To be honest, I just wanna help you out. So if you are finding this video helpful, please consider subscribing, like this video and share it. That stuff goes a long way for me. Okay, so from there, I include more photo examples, product photography on the left, lifestyle photography on the right. I used to put like full descriptions of each service, but it was just so full of text and clunky. So when clients book me, like for example, if they book a photo shoot, then I'll just write in the email afterwards for photos. You know, this is what I'm going to include with the package that you booked. So the client is fully aware of what they're getting. And also you have it in writing as well. So overall, this last page, I would just put service, price, simple as that. I've also used this page as one that introduces your most recent offerings as content creators, creatives. I think a lot of us experiment with new things. For me right now, that's cinematic gameplay shorts. So I put that there as well. Reason why, I think it's always exciting to see new and innovative things that content creators are doing. So I think those are always good qualities to see and show in your offer, especially when you have recurring clients. And that, it's how you make a media sheet that stands out. If you are currently just writing emails without a media sheet, or you're just sending over a Microsoft Word document, stop. I'm just kidding. If that works for you, that is totally fine, but I think it's really worth the investment in time to take a step back, make one of these, because from my own experience, when I just send emails out without a set package, it makes you look not as knowledgeable and not as professional. And I didn't book anywhere near the amount of bookings when I had a media package versus when I didn't have one at all. So for me, from my experience, I think it's a great selling point. If you end up booking clients using your new updated media sheet, hey, I am genuinely happy and excited for you. I hope this video helped you out in some way. Thank you all so much for being here and I will see you all in the next video. Now this water is like freezing my lips. I can barely talk today. Ah, delicious.